What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of video games in general, we're going to be checking out Chorus. This is a new title that's been coming out from Deep Silver. Uh, this is a game that's kind of in the realm of like Everspace and Everspace 2 from what I understand. These are my first impressions of the game, so I'll do my best to give you my unadulterated thoughts as I improvise them and as we dive on deeper. But it looked really, really cool. If you haven't seen it, it seems like a sort of RPG infused... Uh, space dog fighting game with like powers that are involved with your pilot and stuff like that And so I really really wanted to check this out. I'm a big fan of like freelancer I'm a big fan of Everspace Everspace 2 and so really anything that's in sort of that nebulous of game design I'm always gonna jump into like wholeheartedly So without further ado if you want the game you can get it down below in the description It's available for distribution on Steam right now on top of that You can also take a look down in the description for my discord and my twitch stream just in case you wanted to hang out a little bit more live on the day that this video goes live, there's a good chance that I might stream it, uh, just in case you wanted to see it a little bit more in depth. I've got a feeling that's going to be one of those games that 30 minutes is not going to be good enough, and so we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, but without further ado, let's go. Uh, we'll leave everything on the way that it is. Subtitles on, fantastic by default. Love to see it. Uh, Gamma, yeah, let's leave it where it's at for right now, and let's get our chorus-like adventure a bumping. I'm Nara. I wanted peace and safety for people. I wanted chorus. Eternal harmony for everyone. Taught by the great prophet himself, I saw him as the father I never had. He was kind, a healer helping the sick, and a true guiding light for us all. I became his best pilot his executioner. My talents and those of other elders were revealed. He taught us to tap into the ether and unleash gifts that lay suppressed inside us. The same powers the menacing faceless harness from inside their void. Nothing was able to stop the power of the circle. Nothing was able to stop me. But then he changed. Something happened, and suddenly no sacrifice was too much. Nimica Prime. A rebellious world refused the harmonious doctrine of Chorus. An order was given, one which every elder must follow, even if they disagreed. Destroy that planet, Nara. I hesitated. You can refuse, Elder. But I didn't. I gathered all my anger. And... Billions died. I heard them scream. That day I left the Circle. Turned my ship towards the Rift. Ready to stop it or die. Keisha died first. A room soon followed. A one. My brother in chorus was hit. So I left him behind. I left them all behind. And I fled. Time to test that access code. Transmitting. Now. You only have a few seconds to get inside before the security system re-engages. Good hunting. I'm a force in the shadows. How 
are you doing in there? Relax. I'll bring your AR-1 back. Just bring yourself back. And some nature power cells for the Enclave. Alright. Acceleration. Deceleration. Dude, this looks pretty good, actually. Graphical fidelity looks pretty solid. Let's move forward. Let's kind of see what we've got inside this installation. Is this stuff destructible? Ah, oh, it's not. Okay. I do like the actual gun design, too. That looks pretty good. A raid. Someone sold them out to the cult. They massacred everyone. Even the kids. A circle cleansing doctrine. Thorough. Who betrayed them? Never found out. A power cell. Apparently I'm supposed to collect power cells. It looks like we just roll on into them. Perfect. This Neju tech can power the Enclave for years. If the circle doesn't find us, I can still reach out with my right of senses and find them. Okay, let's reach into the void. Why not? The right of senses. Okay, so we've got like Assassino vision, dude. We've got like the Ubisoft thing going on. Got another power cell over there. How did you find that? I'm heading deeper, Sev. They must never know about my right. About me. I mean, honestly, it's a giant floating canister that looks like the thing the ooze came from in TMNT, so it's kind of hard to miss. I'm moving on to engineering. Okay, so I've got how much energy I can use, gotcha. Security could still be active. Contact. Yep, that's a gun. Okay. <laughs> it's downsides stationary. Just kind of hooked to the side of a wall, not capable of moving. Just hanging out. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna Ooh. Okay, guns were more effective than I thought. I didn't expect to melt that thing that fast. And uh, we got anything else interesting? Oh, there's another turret down there. Hold on, you die. There we go. Nice shooting. But the section is under lockdown. I'll find one. Crash into a wall. Or make one. There was a wall right there. The barrier fields energy flow. Good. No power, no barrier field. Oh yeah, there's like a little cable-y thing. So the cable-y thing runs up and through there. And it looks like there's like a thing. Do I shoot it? I gotta kinda like orient, dude. I'm like, there we go. Do I collect it? Oh, it's money. Okay. Might buy me a nice upgrade at the Enclave. Okay, so open that back up again, and it looks like we've got doors. It looks like there's like some kind of little box, maybe, that controls all this stuff. Is the box over here? Oh, is it inside of here? Oh, it is. Okay, there's like a little back area. Gotcha. Another turret. We'll just deal with that real fast. Let's see here. Frequently use all your equipment rights and interact with the world to improve your mastery. Okay, well, I'm just going to grab the power cell real fast because i got to power down these gates. And then this gate over here. Oh, it's right there on the wall, dude. I flew right past it in the pursuit of financial mammon greed. You're amazing. Thank you, Sav. I want to get, like, into, like, an open space battle. That's what I want. I want to see, like, the full force and might of the engine. I want to see the lasers fly. I want to hear the Gatlings light off. I want to hear the percussive explosion of shields being disabled. An incredible sight. They built her big. Yes. Big and slow. The perfect circle target. Moving in. I still have space for more power cells. Are you okay, Nara? It's nothing, Sav. Just remembering something. The pain's still there. Deep inside. Okay, well I guess I'll just kind of like collect all the power cells real fast. That's a turret right there. I recognize that. Is it going to pop up? Oh, it did not pop up. That surprises me. Alright, well there's so, another power one. Shock. It transported jump gates. Yes. Crossed space the old way. Engineers, pioneers, their families, all looking for a new beginning. Long journey just to die. 
And there's stuff laying around. Well, I'm being shot at. Hold on. We're being we're being fired upon. We're being fired upon. In the midst of narrative dis we, we, we've been having some narrative dispensation. And now we are under attack by things that want to kill us. Alright, so like another enemy over here. We'll just kind of follow that around. Control scheme's a little bit odd. It's gonna take some getting used to. So it doesn't work in the same way that Everspace does, where you can kind of like barrel roll in six degree of freedom as you wish. You can, but the camera seems to like reorient itself around that bar that's kind of going horizontally from our reticle right now. And so it seems to do that kind of on its own sometimes. Yeah. Sav? You okay? I knew what had happened here, but seeing it, all those people, the dreams, plans, all dead. I know. It's cult work. My work. Once I perfected those very doctrines. Honestly, I'm kind of getting like a colony. Like, I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Colony Wars Red Sun. I'm getting that kind of vibe from the game where it's almost like a narrative space shooter. Their blood is not on your hands. It's on the cult leaders. And on mine. You're right. I guess. I get out of there. Come home, Nara. What are you hiding? Okay, so the hab exit's over there. What else we got going on? We got like a few more turrets around here. Let's go ahead and dispense with those real fast. If nothing else, just for the experience of drawing in targets and familiarizing ourselves with the controls. By ourselves, I mean me. I'm actually like a crazy guy talking to himself in his office right now. But like, I do it as though you're all sitting here with me right now at this moment. And I think that's the thought that counts. Uh, so yeah, we got all the power cells. So let's just kind of get up and out of here. I figure there's probably some goodies or something hidden around here, like money or whatever else. But oh god, that's a wall. Evade incoming projectiles. Okay, yeah. I don't like being dead. Being dead sucks. I don't think somebody that can destroy entire planets by herself really cares about pirates. Kind of feels like they're sort of like beneath me. It does use a certain amount of auto-targeting right here. I don't know if that's going to be enableable or disableable inside the options. Uh, but your reticle, when you're firing, it does stick to the enemies uh, in a very, very real way. Like, you can feel it. I'm in the clear. They're dead now. It was their choice. I didn't want them to follow me to the Enclave. Understood. It was the right call. It's that right there. She got for me a little bit more money sounds good i like money money is nice for buying things with games like this that tends to be kind of the core central tenet is that you get to upgrade stuff uh, what is that oh Okay, there's another memory shard over here. Let's go ahead and fill in a little bit of the background of the universe. It sounds like we're basically a war criminal that's like trying to get away from it all though. How the hell did the cult find us? My head. I can hear their voices inside my head. No matter where you hid, you could not escape our their psychics. Okay, let's carry on. We got all the things that we, like, needed to get in order to advance. And I'm out of energy to scan anyways, so... Maybe I can still sense something. I won't miss this graveyard. Yeah, let's head on back. I mean, if we're out of here, we're out of here. Sav, the cargo is secured and all power cells stable. I'm heading back to the Enclave. Good job, Nara. Thank you. Doesn't particularly look like there's anything too interesting around us. Uh, press control to pick up speed and cover... Okay, so that's like our slip drive, basically. Yeah. Nara, I was thinking... All these years, I've never seen you afraid of anything. 
and the way you fight. Precise, deadly. You could earn a fortune anywhere else. I'm not leaving Steger. Good. But things here might change. You're expecting trouble? Just come over and we'll talk. I'll see about that. Ooh, there's a big ship over here. What's up with you, brother? When do I get a big ship? I want big ship. Big ship would be sick, dude. Oh, we live in like a mining colony, so we're asteroid miners and salvagers. At least that's the feeling that I'm getting. I mean, pretty good atmospheric design and just world design. Lighting effects look solid to me. I haven't seen hey. anything that tears or moves wrong. I could use some help. Understood. Okay, let's go see what's up with her. Uh, Nara, you came. Oh, that was painful. Okay, I tried to turn it off, but it was too late, dude. I was just, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to how this thing controls, dude. This boat. I'm listening. It's a quick delivery, but I'd feel safer if someone like you could watch my back and handle things. Sounds like trouble. I'll pay you. Sure. All right. Where to? Samage Outpost. It's not that far. Oh, I, dude, I thought that was a platform. That's actually like a ship. I thought that was like a landing platform or something, and it just like took off. Okay, well, let's escort her where she needs to go. Didn't you work at the Enclave? Yeah, I fixed that ship of yours a few times, but I left after I... Well, I still owe Sav. I've got my own workshop now. Business is good, but uh, I lost some credits. Oh, the damn game was rigged. And now you owe the pirates. But I'll pay them right after this delivery. I see. While well, piling up new debts. Dude, I'm getting outrun by a space shoebox right now. I am so offended by how badly I'm getting outpaced by this thing. It's gaining on me, and I'm in like a little tiny, you know, I'm in like this little Lamborghini, you know, nastiness right here in space. Dude, I thought this thing was going to have some chug yeah, off the line, I but... Off my goods fast. Bazaar. Finally found you. I, I have your credits. Almost. I just need to... That story is growing old. Hey, now. Four. Nara, can you... Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'll cover your debt. Fine with me. We'll see you, Azan. Always welcome to join us for another game. Thanks, Nara. You owe me now. I know. My cargo's still at the Enclave. It's yours. Follow me. All right, let's make it happen. I like the little subtle, like, when you cut to the right or the left, vapor comes out of the engine on the side in order to make that sort of side-to-side -side slide motion happen. That's a good little detail right there. I like that. So far, it looks pretty clean, and it's running smooth as butter while I'm recording it, so, like... To the enclave. Right, you shouldn't stay out in the open. I'm just going to kind of catch up. She's moving kind of fast. Still having trouble with like flying while I'm in the slip drive. It's kind of hard to get it like, I don't know. It's kind of hard like, so I'm used to playing games where Q and E make you barrel roll. And so instinctively I keep going to Q and E to like barrel roll and cut through small areas, but it doesn't work like that in this game. Um, I, I actually don't know how to barrel roll. It. Here, it's what you covered. Plus my cut from the delivery job. Sweet, Thanks. 375 space bucks. Get my old job back. Maybe. If he decides to trust you again. Alright, so we gotta go home now. You called it my home, Sav. Maybe one day. Sav, I'm coming in. Your Naju power cells are all safe. And your landing bay is ready. Guy hit me with it. Where's it at? It's down here. Alright, let's see if we can do some more complex maneuvers without endoing this thing into a wall. 
Uh, it looks like, actually, did I go too low? Let me get away from the station real fast so I can get a better approach. I'm falling into that age-old, like, uh, elite dangerous thing where you're too close to the station to actually fully reckon where you're supposed to be going. All right, so there we go. Our hangar bay is right here. Let's put her down. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I hit the wrong button. Oh, God. Dude, I don't know who gave me a flying license, but they made a mistake. They made a very big, very terrible mistake. They should not have done it. All right, I'm just going to put her down right here, dude. There we go. I'll let Ree's security team know their cargo's here. What's the real story? Why those energy cells, Sav? We've had a lot more refugees lately. Things are shaking up back in cold space. You're preparing for a cult attack? Could be nothing. Keep this between. Okay. So this is apparently where we can do all of our upgrades and modify and do all that fun stuff. Uh, we can take a look at our ship structure, and it looks like we can upgrade the... It looks like we can upgrade the power of our hull. It looks like we can also make our shields a little bit nicer. However, it looks like that comes at the cost of money. So we have 800 credits on this purchase, but we've got 1,200 on us. I'd like to look and see what the other options are that are around. So it looks like we can upgrade our Gatling gun. For 2,000, we can get a Talon which looks like it does considerably more damage to pretty much every attribute available. We can also get gear mods. So we've got an automation protocol. Okay, let me go through these. Okay, so from the options we have available, we have a shield hardener. We have an automation protocol, which apparently we have little robots that exist in our ship that come out like R2-D2 style and like repair damage. It basically makes them come out and respond to damage faster. We've got a predictive algorithm, which is effectively an algorithm that helps auto-target our weapons so that we disassemble enemies faster, thus resulting in more damage. We've got a combat protocol, which allows us to get rid of shields faster. We've got a thermal conductor over here, which allows us to go faster. And then we've got a hole piercer. So technically we could go combat protocol to get the shields down faster and then tracking algorithm to get the hull down faster. Might not be a bad idea. It looks like these both kind of do the same thing from what I can tell. Oh, it's armor and hull damage. Okay. It said increases damage you inflict on hostile hulls, and this one said hostile hulls as well. But if you look at the stat modification over there, one of them increases your armor damage. All right. That sounds fine. I think that what I'd like to go for is let's go for a shield deflector. That sounds good. I'd like to have the hardened shields. Uh, I've been running into a lot of stuff, so I feel like that's going to benefit me tremendously. I don't really have a whole lot of money left. I think maybe I can fiddle with my Gatling. Oh, you can't upgrade the Gatling. Okay. You can only upgrade, like, the base stuff you've got going on. They want me to do this right here, but I don't have enough money. Do I? Well, apparently I do have enough money. All right, fair enough. We've got more hull now. Huzzah for us. Huzzah say I. Uh, yeah, let's leave the hangar. I want to get more gameplay in. I'm actually, like, feeling this right now. The reflective effects look great. The lighting looks good. The sound design feels very, very nice. Honestly, from Deep Silver, I always expect, like, a sort of, like, a certain level of just a little bit of jank around there. You know what I mean? But thus far, it hasn't exposed its ugly head, except for the controls being a little bit different than, like, other flight sims that I've played. Discretion. We have a lost shipment, sensitive cargo. And my wife asked for you. What does Re need? It involves a missing ship. She'll tell you more when you get there. All right. Sav, he thinks his secrets are protection. All right, holding and releasing. Boom, baby. Oh, there's activities everywhere. Oh, I love to see that. Any priorities? Your choice, Nara. Okay, so it's open world. I actually had no idea it was open world in like Grand Theft Auto style. You could kind of just cruise around and do whatever you want. Uh, what's closest? It looks like we've got. 18 kilos this way. Let's go see what's up that. We'll see how many things we've got to do over on the, uh, we got 18 kilometers in this direction, so that's the closest by, like, a kilometer. I'm just gonna be like, you know, water finds its own level, dude. Path of least resistance. We'll start with the closest, and we'll work our way out to, like, the more impressive stuff, and I'm guessing we're gonna get to more stations that kind of have, like, doper stuff, too, as we play the game. Okay, cut off the sublight. 
Okay, we've got an Enclave cargo request. Uh, do I hit them up on the Ansible from here, or...? Hey, scavenger. I could use some of your legendary discretion. Do I go in here? I don't know if this... Okay, we talk right here. Gotcha. Enclave security. A special secured delivery. It'll be quick. You in? All right. Where do I pick it up? Here's the coordinates. Okay. Let's get off and after it. So we got pickup coordinates over here. I'm not even going to use the sublight for this. I just, I know deep down I'm going to endo myself into the side of this station if I sublight in. And so we'll just kind of like creep in slow, grab it. All right, there we go. I received the delivery. What's in it? Crypto keys. You trust me with your encrypted comm channels. Re does. And I trust Re. I see. I do Next think. Stop, Canaris Outpost. I marked it on your map. You'll find my latest recruit there. I'll know what to do. On my way. Nara out. How big is the world? Let's take a look. Actually, I'd like to see that. Oh, it's like a like a 3D. Yeah, it's almost like a 3D sonar map. That's pretty cool. I can dig it. I'm gonna guess that this is not the only map too. There's probably like more maps after this one. Seems kind of small for just like one game. But yeah, the one thing I have noticed is that when you pick up objects, I feel like they could have done that a little bit more elegantly. Just like ramming into it and it just being like, Pachoom! and then you have the item. Like I feel like it would have been cooler is like when you get within like 800 meters of it, you have like a tractor that grabs it and drags it to the ship. And like maybe a little hatch on the bottom opens up, sucks it in and closes back down. Like just a very quick animation would have made that like a tiny bit more immersive. We've got our masteries as well. Okay, what do mast? Oh, we've got different like... Oh, so it's not necessarily like leveling up your character in the sense of like you're getting XP, but it looks like the game has challenges. And as you complete those challenges, you get RPG style bonuses to make yourself stronger. I actually very much prefer that. I like that a lot better than typical like numerative HP or I'm sorry, XP systems. Like I, I sort of like the idea of contentized or like weaponized achievements basically that like you accomplish them and then that represents your character getting better at that particular activity which is really kind of what XP represents anyways it's just kind of spread out over an entire character level but I sort of like that if we use the Gatling gun a lot we get better with the Gatling gun. We use our senses a lot. We get better at using our senses. We get better at destroying ships from destroying ships. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I dig that idea. And let's take this on into port real fast. I think we can activate the slip drive real quick. Just because it's not that far out. Outpost come in. A special delivery for you. Permission to approach granted. This is from Enclave Security. I trust you can handle it. Yeah, sure. But uh, I need a favor. What is it? I can't leave my post. But somebody just stole three tons of high-grade plutonium. If I don't get it back, my boss is going to be pissed. I really need to track down these thieves. Fine. Okay, I'll get them. That payload can be weaponized. They can't have gone far. They aren't showing on my sensors. Nara, if it ends up in the wrong hands... I'll find them. What is that? Either way, it gave me a nav point. So we'll just go off that real fast. Spin it back around real fast so that I'm oriented properly. I can sense the trail of that life force. Curious. It seems nobody tried to stop them. Oh, there's a little trail. They went off this way. I don't know how long the trail is going to stay lit up, but I actually kind of like the idea of using psychic powers in combination with being like a badass fighter pilot to really like augment your abilities. That's kind of like a cool sort of, I don't know, 40k type thing. It's the plutonium. We need it back. You want me to negotiate? Yeah. They can't activate hyperspeed with that heavy load. Just don't shoot. We'll see. No promises. Okay, so I'm on the thief. We're catching up to him with the slip drive, but like. Ship. Please don't fire. 
surrender now. I can't. Please, I, I'm not a criminal. Then stop running. No, I made a deal to save my family. With who? The cult. They'll never protect you. They promised we'd be safe. Did they? If I do this. No, only if you join them. They always follow their doctrines. Don't be naive. It's my only choice. Your choice is surrender or I destroy your ship right now. Come on. Pull it over. Don't make me kill you. All right. I give up. Mom, don't. Mom? Dora, it's not going to work. The cult will never spare us. The Enclave is your only option. Will you tell my boss? <sighs> Stay put and do your job. Thank you. I'll do my best. And you, pilot. Any second thoughts? No. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. Good. Consider this your only warning. I will. Jora, I'll move our things to the Enclave before the cult returns. Thank you, Nara. She's my only family. If you come by, I'll have something for you. Well, it better be good, because, like, I just chased a person through the ass end of an asteroid butthole in order to accomplish that mission, and I am in full space mode. I'm an EVE Online player in the past. I'm an Elite Dangerous player. We mercenaries out here in space. We don't do nothing for free. So you better have something sparkly and something that jingles for me when I get back over here, all right? This is space. Game ain't based on sympathy. Here I am. Please take this. We owe you. Thanks. Now listen closely. The Enclave is your home and you will defend it. Understood? Yes. Nara out. Looks like we got a whole fragment. So, like, I'm guessing, like, maybe we... So, I think we picked that up on our last one, so I thought we were buying it. But it appears to me as though... Ooh, there's new rights and stuff, so we can get new, like, uh... We get some new sweet abilities. All right. What kind of rights? So, we've got the... It looks like there's six of them that we can get. I think in one of the trailers that I saw, and also in the opening video of this, you get one that turns your ship into a lance, and you can dive through other larger ships and just bore a hole in them and stuff like that. Dude, I was like, oh, that was so sick, dude. I want to do that so bad. I'm so excited. All right. Well, we got a hull fragment. I don't know where we install it at. I'm sure we install it around here somewhere, but, you know, we completed a side mission. We got a ship upgrade that should take our HP up. And so anyways... Pretty, pretty happy with the result here. Love the way the world looks. Enclave security. I'm done here. Did you deliver the crypto keys? I haven't heard from the outpost yet. Yes, they have the shipment. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Thanks. Now we're out. Dude, if I could do this in real life, I would never come back to the station. I would just cruise slowly through the majesty of space just like this. Like all the time, dude. Like, I would have a banging Twitter. All kinds of cool space photos. That being said, if I could do it, I'm kind of remedial and dumb. So that probably means that everybody else can do it too. So my pictures probably wouldn't Help. be that interesting. Anyone? Help us? Maybe I can. On the way. Apparently, it's just nothing but problems out here in Enclave. That's what it's looking like to me anyways. We can go check out this signal. We're kind of getting towards the end of the video, but like... I still want to do more stuff. I want to play more. This is Someone a good sign. Someone has we've lost control of our ship. Can you try to fix it? Sure. I can help you out. Oh, there's like a hacking. Oh, there's no mini game though. Yay! I thought that I was going to have to do some kind of like a quick time event mini game for the hacking. But apparently it's just a meter that fills up. Here's something for your trouble. Thanks, Captain. Stay safe out there. Watch meter fill up, get $400. That's the type of business I like to be involved in. I was hoping for something a little bit more like Boom Boom Shooty, but it hasn't seemed to uh, arise. Like, I was thinking, like, you know, it seems like there's a lot of pirates around. So, like, when do I get to throw down with the pirates, you know what I mean? We got two jobs over here, so there's a missing ship, and there's a sensitive cargo. All right, but we're out of time. This is Chorus. 
I definitely think I'm probably going to be streaming this game. So you should swing through my Twitch stream on the day this video goes live. We'll get a little bit deeper down into it and explore the nitty gritty. For right now, we can take a look at the options menu because I think with games like this, it's going to be really, really important. Uh, inside the gameplay options, you've got left stick, right stick, dead zones, aim sensitivity. It looks like, did they have... So that's going to be for... I think that's going to be for actual flight sticks. What I was looking for is mouse dead zone as well, which sort of minimizes. If you don't know what mouse dead zone does, uh, basically if an enemy is like really close to you along the edge of the screen um, and you in a game where you use the mouse to steer, that means you've got to pull the mouse super hard in that direction to aim at them, but it has the unintended effect of making you veer really, really hard and basically lose your line with them. Uh, and messing with the dead zone fixes that. But it looks like we've got all kinds of uh, we've got all kinds of sensitivity adjustments right here that we can play around with. It looks like we have a number of options that you can see at the moment for our controls although i do find it a little bit concerning there we go i don't know why it was on controller by default are these rekey bindable right here it doesn't look like they are i can't click or interact with that in any way but it looks like oh there's different types of ships capital ships and regular ships okay and there's alternate control schemes which i think is okay but i'd still like to be able to rekey bind everything myself looks like you can invert everything inside the display modes fairly standard stuff although i do appreciate they let you adjust the gamma in game a lot of games make you do it from the main menu fps lock and v-sync just in case you're going to be running into any kind of recording or if you just want to save the processing power on a lower end unit uh, we've got visuals over here Looks like we've got everything from just presets to view distance to anti-aliasing to post-processing. Everything looks about good. It also has DLSS support. Uh, in our audio mixer, we've got everything split up more or less the way I like to see it. Music, sound effects, voice, what else do you need? And then we've also got a number of different home theater and speaker setups for like headphones or whatever else. Oh, it's got TV versus, he okay, TV versus home theater. Accessibility wise, it looks like we have English as a language, French, Italian. Uh, it looks like we have German, Spanish, Portuguese, Russian, uh, Polish. And then I honestly, I, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, Japanese, and then Korean, and then probably Chinese would be my guess, but honestly, I always have trouble kind of like identifying things uh, that are not in sort of English Arabic characters or whatever. Uh, so anyways, this is Chorus. I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed it tremendously, aside from a somewhat odd control scheme that takes a minute to get used to, and that's mostly because I've put like way too many hours into Everspace. Uh, you gotta kind of like figure it out, but once you've done that, uh, it feels pretty satisfying, and I've been enjoying this episode and kind of the exposition of the storyline. The voice acting seems to be quite good. It's only like the real like side quest characters that seem to have kind of that lower budget voice acting, but everybody else seems to be in pretty good shape. Ooh, got one, there you go. Splat goes the bad guy. Uh, where's the other one at? Is he just like spinning? There he is. Let's see if we can put anything love and touch and squeezing on him. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Last one is Aki. Down he goes. Doesn't look like they drop any loot or anything, but maybe later on in the game, there's a possibility that they might. Or maybe the loot is on the last guy. I actually don't know if I'm landing hits here. It looks like something's hurting him. Down they go. So I'm guessing there's little, like, side objectives that pop up while you're cruising around the galaxy, too. Sort of like public events from Guild Wars. Uh, but anyways, my name is Splattercat. I sit through the pile that found what's worthwhile in the world of indie gaming. This is not an indie game, but it's also not a AAA game. And so, Chorus, it looks great. Uh, it feels pretty good. I like the visuals, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, and that's all I got for you. Bye, everybody.